Hello, welcome to the channel. It's your girl, Christina. I'm sharing a end of month recap slash flip through of my A5 six ring planner in today's video. Um, you know, I've made a couple changes. I've added some things since I shared the setup for this planner. It's been about a month and a half since I've made the change from a daily planner to a ring planner. Um, so hopefully if you're watching this, you can find inspiration in some of the changes I've made. So let's start off with the front panel. So you'll notice I slid a notebook here in this pocket. This is a very thin notebook. There aren't many pages in here. This notebook is for note taking during a meeting. There's a subject line at the top of the page, a date and time section. The very top portion of the page is used for your priorities. There's a notes section. And what I like to do during a business call is jot down a ton of notes here and then organize my notes into priorities at the top of the page. And then the very last section is follow up. I used this for the first time a couple of weeks ago for a work call and I really, really liked it. Um, I initially was just putting this in the front pocket for decor, um, but obviously you really can't see much of the cover because it's tucked in there. I wish that this design was like on this back part or there was some sort of design back here because then I could slide it and have the front cover um, peeking out. I could turn this upside down and then slide it in, but the problem is there's just such a big gap here at the top. It looks, it just doesn't look right. I'm okay with just tucking this in like this. The setup for this planner, I mentioned I did not want to put items in this pocket here, this zipper. I didn't want to change the shape of the front cover. Now you can already see this line here at the very top. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but this pocket is already taking shape to this notebook. Alrighty, so the next thing I wanna share with you all this pocket here is from Cloth and Paper. This was actually a freebie. This came with my most recent order, and honestly, I feel like it comes with every order um, that I put in, even the subscription boxes, because they tend to keep the receipt in here along with um, freebies, if there are freebies included in the box. So I have a couple of these and then I just took one of them and just decided to glue it here because I wanted to store these dot grid stickers. I wanted easy access to this because the next page is my quarterly goals section. For the first quarter of 2023, my goal was to start working out. I wanted to ease myself into working out. So at first I started with a 10K steps a day challenge in January. See this blue dot here, um, I, if I had done it, I would have put a blue sticker here. Um, but as you can see, I do not have a sticker in the month of January. It was a really difficult month. I thought that getting 10K steps a day was manageable, but it wasn't. I did track my steps with my Fitbit and most days I did get close to 10K. And then in February, I decided, okay, since 10K steps a day wasn't as manageable as I thought it was gonna be, I thought a 30 day squat challenge would be a good idea. And so that takes about five, if that, maybe at most 10 minutes. For the 30 day squat challenge, I have this pink dot sticker here and there aren't any pink dot stickers in the monthly overview. And that is because once again, I just wasn't able to find the motivation to do it. Um, it's been a struggle. It's been a serious struggle to incorporate any sort of 
movement, uh, workouts, you know, just after having a baby, it's been just difficult finding the motivation. Honestly, I'm really happy with how this month turned out. I even started doing every now and then, I didn't do it every day, but I started incorporating the 30 day squat challenge and I was also tracking my steps every day. And I did hit 10K steps a couple of times, which made me really, really happy. So this is this month is a step in the right direction. That is what's going on in my quarterly goal. So what's nice is that I'm using the monthly sections as a tracker, but then um, I'm also, the goals that I have for the first quarter at least, all kind of go hand in hand. That is how my quarterly goal section works. Um, now that we're done with the quarter goals, I wanna show you all this insert that I made. Um, it, I didn't actually make the insert. <laughs> um, I drew this in. This is my annual tracker. I wanted to make this because have you ever just forgotten when was the last time you went to the dentist? When did you um, complete your car registration? When was the last time you got an oil change? And so sometimes I have to ask myself, when was the last time I did that? And chances are I forgot. Or I think to myself, wait, that was just a couple months ago, when really it was like six to eight months ago. <laughs> so this annual tracker here is gonna help me just be on top of things. Okay, let's move forward to the monthly overview. Actually, I just skipped it. So this is the monthly overview for March. This is my catch-all. This pretty much has all the like events that I have going on in my month, right? Just so when I'm planning trips or making appointments, like I know what is going on that week. Now, the thing that I wanna share with you all is this section here in the corner. I know it says important dates here, but I haven't been using this section as a important date section. If anything, I list out the things that I want to do. I just haven't planned it yet. And so this month I wanted to plan a date night, um, plan dinner with my sister-in-law and her family, and then I wanted David to like have a boys day and play golf. And then I also wanted to plan a lunch with a couple of friends. What's so nice about having this here, having this list here, right next to my monthly overview, is that it is reminding me that I want to do this, not just a mental note that is gonna slip through the cracks. No, it's here, written down, and reminding me constantly every single time I flip to my monthly overview. To the next section that I wanna share with you all is my weekly overview. Now, these weekly overview inserts are from cloth and paper. I've been doing a bit of time blocking. Um, that's how I've been essentially planning out my days and it's been so helpful like this is the planning system that has helped me the most remember when i first got this i wasn't quite sure what to use this priority section for i like to call this the ever growing to-do list <laughs> these are usually the tasks that just sit in my mind like i always have a mental note of like what i need to do like oh i've been meaning to cut bananas nails or make a dentist appointment um that sort of thing and so now i have this space where i can just jot down all those things that i've been meaning to do and then once i complete them i check them off so the items that i don't complete i actually move them to the following week so i just write it i write down all the the tasks that i wasn't able to get to now, some of you might think that's redundant. Like, why wouldn't you just have a sheet in your planner that's just dedicated to this ever-growing to-do list? And the honest truth is, if I am not seeing that list every day, I will forget. And so having this like checklist here in my weekly overview 
I mean, it's a constant reminder of the things that I need to complete. And it's not overwhelming. Like sometimes I complete a handful of things. Sometimes I'm adding like five, six items to the list because I just realized I, you know, needed to do complete some things. So it's just helpful. And like, it honestly makes me feel at ease having this list because that means I'm not gonna forget anything. So that's how the priorities list works. I love this, I absolutely love it. Now, I'm probably gonna sound like a broken record. I've said this like almost in every video, but I have steered clear from decorative planning and I have shifted to functional planning. Um, but there's still a bit of me that loves using stickers still. So I've been using stickers like these dot stickers from cloth and paper, a really old pack of stickers that I just randomly found in my sticker collection that I wanted to use and I used it for a couple of weeks. And then in this week I added these cloth and paper time blocking stickers. They're not, you know, obviously functional, but it's just something nice and colorful to add to the page. And then the following week, I switched things up and I started using these black and gold label stickers from Cloth and Paper and these round sticky notes. I'm obsessed with this combo and I'm even more obsessed with this washi tape here. Um, the washi tape is from Cloth and Paper, but it came in their stationary subscription box and I am obsessed with this one. I am a sucker for grid washi tape because it can just go with anything. It's not too decorative, it's simple. I love the color, like this isn't white or beige, it's almost like an off-white with a gray undertone. It is so pretty. And then the lines aren't black or white, no, it's brown. They're brown, you guys. Like this is so pretty and I think it's such a great addition with these round sticky notes and the black and gold label stickers. I'm, I'm obsessed. Kind of just stuck with that theme for a couple of weeks. I think this week is going to be the last time that I use those. I'll probably pick them up again later, but I just want to, I kind of just want to switch to something else. The last thing I want to show you all is this notebook. Just like the front cover, I did throw in another notebook here in the back pocket. Um, this one here is just like a really, once again, just a really thin notebook, really, really thin. Um, doesn't have a ton of paper in it, but it's meant to help. Um, it's just kind of like a notebook for if you're decorating or renovating a space. There's a space for you to, you know, create a list of the things that you want to do with your house. Um, there's a mood board section where you can like, you know, print out um, a color scheme, textures. Um, I will definitely put this to use because I have a bit of decorating to do in my own home. So I will eventually use this, but yeah, for right now, I kind of like it here for decor. But anywho, that is a flip through of, you know, just some updates and additions to my planner, like what's been working out for me. Hopefully you guys found inspiration in this video. If you enjoyed this and would like to see more, please consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the notification bell so you know exactly when I post. And then um, I'll be coming out with some more videos for the rest of the month. I will see you all in the next one. Bye.